All right, fam, so basically I've been looking all over the internet to see if there's some sort of grading system, uh, somebody giving information out, that way we can improve what the American bully is. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's kind of hard for me to find it. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys how it is that we go about grading our puppies, grading our keepers, grading the pups that are gonna be staying with Keepy and K and moving on. Uh, as you well know, we grade our pups in three different levels. We have the show quality, we have breed quality, and then we have what we consider to be pet quality. Now keep in mind that as good as a breeder uh, has a system down or whatnot, uh, we're still running a 15 to 20 percent risk that things are not going to turn out exactly how we're seeing when the puppy is 9, 10, 11, or 12 weeks, uh, weeks old, depending when you're going to be picking up the pup. And regardless, we give the best shot that we can and we try to go ahead and grade the pups while they're on in our facility before they leave. Ain't that right, bud? All right, so without further ado, let's get started. The grading system we're gonna be using is gonna cover top line, reangulation, front, muzzle and bite, cranium and movement. Now let's get started. One of the things we're not grading for in our grading scale is temperament or confidence. However, I do like to keep my eye on the pup while we're doing this and see how they react up in the air. Now keep in mind, this is the first time that they're in a stacking stance. I love seeing this pup's rear angulation. I feel that when he does extend up, it's just perfect. Also, his top line is definitely on point. I closely keep an eye on whenever he does extend uh, for the bait that's really right there that's really what i'm looking for uh, that's what i'm grading uh, not necessarily when his head is down or he's out of position or anything like that uh, i feel that this gives me the uh, best evaluation of the pup and lets me be able to judge them uh, fairly again uh, you can see uh, the rear angulation on the pup as well as the top line uh, another thing I really like about the pup is his elbows are pretty much where his chest level starts and that's really good especially for those of you that are looking for dogs uh, to be used uh, as working dogs. Uh, it gives them a certain level of athleticism, agility if you will. Uh, if, it's, if the elbow is either too high or too low from there, uh, they, they tend to lose some agility. Again, I really like what I'm seeing on this pup. Um, that top line is just phenomenal uh, for a pup at this age. I really like what I'm seeing out of this pup's front. Uh, I love seeing the H frame on this pup. As you see, there's no compensation on the feet to where the shoulder width is at. Uh, that's really what I'm looking at at this age more than anything. Next, we're checking for an underbite and none there. Also, we're checking to see uh, Pup's confidence again and also his movement. Look at his stride. Really like what I'm seeing out of this puppy. Look at his first step. This is uh, for those people that are looking for east-west. Look at the first step. Look at them steps. He's stepping forward. As you can see, the pup has graded the highest in each single category. The highest score is a 4. The lowest score is a 1. Let's go to the next pup. This second pup is showing some good rear angulation and top line. Now, he's a little weary. He's not the most confident up there, but it's the first time in a stacking stance, so we got to let him slide. Now, keep an eye on where the elbow's at and where his chest line is at when he stretches out here. That is beautiful. That's what you want for a working dog. That's what gives them their agility up front. And uh, we're going to now take a closer look at the rear. And he's going to stretch out here in just a moment. And there he goes. Now look at the rear and look at the top line. That is very, very good right there. I really like what I'm seeing. I also like seeing the muzzle at this point. I'm also looking at the pup's tuck. It's very impressive. Again, fam, I'm looking at the width of the chest. I'm looking for the H frame. I'm trying to make sure that there's no obvious compensation, whether it's inward or outward, on the feet to the shoulders. I want the feet to be underneath the shoulders. Essentially, that's what I'm looking for at this point. Also, take a look at the chest. It's not a barrel chest. 
It's actually a very symmetrical chest. And like I said earlier, the elbows start where the chest line begins. And that's exactly what you want to look for. All in all, very impressive with this pup. Here we get a chance to see him in movement. At this point, what I want to focus on is if the pup walks with a high rear, and he doesn't. Looking at the bite, there's no evidence of an under or an overbite, um. and so we're going to grade him a four on this. Like this puppy quite a bit. This puppy graded very high on all categories. Uh, I did think, however, that his front uh, could have been slightly better, and that's why he got a three. This next puppy is showing excellent top line and excellent rear angulation. I mean, I like what I'm seeing. I love seeing where those elbows are in relation to the chest. Look at the muzzle. Look at the confidence up there. I really like what I see with this pup. This pup is a bit energetic, so it took me quite a bit to get him to stack. So just bear with us. Uh, I do know he has a, he's tilting a little bit to, uh, towards me. It's mainly because... Um, he was he fell down from the stacking stance and once that happened you know he kind of felt a little bit more secure being a little bit closer to me however i'm looking at the width of the chest and i'm looking at where those feet are at right now here we see the pup in movement I'm looking uh, to see if i see cow hawks if i'm seeing any high rear anything like that i'm not seeing any signs of it Again, we're taking a look at the bite and I'm not seeing evidence of an overbite or underbite. All in all, uh, the puppy scored a four, except for cranium and front. I feel that they can develop in the future, but they're not where I feel they need to be for a four right now. This next pup is showing some good rear angulation, excellent top line, like seeing where the elbow to chest, and I definitely like seeing what I'm seeing in the muzzle not too long and not too short and the pup is confident up there again we're looking at the width of the shoulders down to the feet i don't see any compensation inside or outside so that's definitely a plus for this pup's front and the confidence he's displaying there is great also no barrel chest um i mean the pup is definitely looking very good Again, we're going to go ahead and check and see for an underbite or an overbite. This boy likes to keep his mouth shut pretty well, but as you can see, there's no evidence of it. So definitely, he's going to get his four points in this category. Here he is in movement. As you can see, uh, I'm not seeing signs of a high rear, nor am I seeing signs of a cow hawk. Puppies walking straight, no legs kicking out. Excellent. All in all, this puppy graded excellent. Uh, I do feel that his cranium could have been a little bit more developed at this point, not to say it cannot happen in the future. This is it for this particular episode. We'll be doing episode two with the females. Uh, we just want to give you a glimpse of how it is that we go about uh, picking our keepers. This little guy is the one that made it as our keeper. Uh, as I was telling you, uh, we're looking for bone and structure. Uh, we're looking for that cranium and that short stop. And I kind of felt that this pup had an edge over the other ones. Not to say the other ones are not of breed quality or even show quality. Uh, it's just that I feel that this is the one that's going to be best for us at this time But we'll be showing you uh, on the next episode how we evaluate our females So make sure you follow suit and you watch that video